Hi, this is Ashio, and this is The Supper. Some of the content in this game might not be suitable for all ages. Otherwise, I don't have a clue what this game is about. Let's take a look. I don't think it's a super long game, so we should be able to sit this through quite nicely. But yeah, there's some drippy stuff. And this is The Supper. Maybe it's just some kind of, you know, soup or porridge or something. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. The the kind of logo there looks a little bit like bones. So yeah, I'm on my guard. Okay. Hey, Miss Appleton, wake up. Okay, so this is Mrs. Appleton. Okay, cool. I'm sorry, Miss Appleton. I know your old bones are tired. Things were so much easier before, weren't they? But there's no time to rest. Look at the time. Customers will be arriving any minute now. And we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies now, do we? Okay. So, let's look at the special souls. Can we... What are the controls? We're just looking at it. Okay. Got the swordfish tail? What's that? Some solid wax. An empty pot? Just shrugging. Okay. Embers? Got some tongs. Grab those. Okay, we got some tongs. Can we use the tongs on the embers? There we go. So now we got a fire tongs with embers. Can we do that in the wax? Melt the wax, maybe? No? What do you drag and drop? Is that how it works? I'm not sure. Oh, we got a, a recipe list. Recipes of the day. Pigeon a la sauce rosé with one pigeon and cover it with special sauce. Then we got a spicy red swordfish. One swordfish towel, add one chilli pepper, cover with special sauce. Okay, hand and tongue stew. One plump human hand, add one slimy tongue and a special sauce. Okay, so we got our special sauce. But it looks like we got some cooking to do. And there's our swordfish tail. We're going to have to remove that at some point, I think, and get our recipes sorted. Okay, let's go to the dining room. Bit gloomy. Oh, we got to put the light on. Okay, so how do we do that? Oh no, it's dark in here. Some light is going to make the place much more inviting. So can we do the, the embers on the chandelier? There we go. Did that work? Yeah, well done. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. Okay, so what's on the table? Got an empty water jug. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, let's, let's shuffle along. What else have we got? Hmm. All the candles are lit. What's outside look like? No time for a walk now, Miss Appleton. I smell fresh clients coming this way. Why don't you go and make sure our special sauce is ready for them? Doorbell, though. I can ring that. Yeah. Ring that shit. Okay, let's check on the special sauce. Back to the kitchen. Let's have a look at this. Mmm, smells delicious. Oh, do you hear that? Horses. Growling stomachs. Here they come. Oh, we got customers. Okay, someone's just come in the door. I heard the bell go. So someone's there. Do you think it could be them? I mean, I got an empty jug. Can I put special sauce? No, not yet. Let's go through. Hello? Oh, hello. Oh, all kinds of people. Customers. Yo, what's up? They want some food. Well, of course they do. Look, the chest. These are the men we've been looking for. Let's find them a place to sit, quickly. Okay, so we got some customers. Let's get them seated. Yeah. So, what would the gentleman like to start with? Uh, we've got an old man, a deadly shark, and a mind-controlled fungus. Okay, let's talk to the old man. They want that. Excellent choice. They want the pigeon. That's our chef's specialty. Okay. What does the shark want? They want human hand. Hand and tongue stew. And you thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing to our customers. I was right. You were wrong. And about this. Let's talk to the fungus. They want the uh, spicy red swordfish, personal favourite. A mouth-watering delicacy that's healthy as well. 
Lots of omega-3. Alright. <laughs> so, that's a spicy red sawfish for the mind-controlling beast on the left. A pigeon out of sauce rosé for the sick old man on the right. And a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. Of course, all served with our delicious secret sauce. Come on, go and fetch some ingredients. And don't forget to check the recipes list on the kitchen wall if you have any problem remembering them. Okay, so what do we need to do? Can we open this chest? Be patient. Okay, can we go outside? Oh, what's outside? Okay, we gotta gather some ingredients. There's a pigeon. Yo, do you want to come down here? I want to eat you, wooden cart. I hope you're not thinking of climbing up there. Oh, okay, fine. So, what's over here? Let's go for a little explore. This is their boat. These are the guys who just showed up. Who is this? A fisherman? Oh, he, he might... Hmm. Poor old Pete. I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. He, he did. Take the fishing pole. Okay, we fished something up. A wet boot. I'll take that. Can I cut off his hand? No. I want to feed someone. About the rope. No. No good. So, fishing line is done. So we got a wet boot and an empty water jug. Okay. We'll keep looking. We also need that pigeon, right? Yeah, this pigeon, its days are numbered. Here's our tavern sign. The Joyous Lobster Inn. Best place in town for a snack. Hmm. Oh, let's throw this switch. No good. And there's a jail door. Okay, it's not a lot to work with. Okay, let's go back inside. We'll check out the kitchen, see what ingredients we've got that are ready. Hopefully they don't mind waiting for a bit. There's nothing else on the table we can use, right? No, 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 there isn't. So what have we got? We've lost our tongs, but there's still hot embers on the floor. There's solid wax. Ew. Okay, so what do we do with the wax? Uh, put it into the, the boot. No. Any of these items combinable? I'm not sure. Let's look at our recipe. We need one pigeon. That is our first job. Then we've got to get a swordfish tail with a chilli pepper. A human hand and a slimy tongue. Okay, can we fill the jug with special sauce? No. How about the boot? Okay, we've got the embers. I've lost my tongs. I can't pick that up no more. I need that swordfish tail. It's right here. But I haven't got a blade. I can't cut it off. Okay. Can we put that in the pot? Okay, put the wax in the pot. Boiling wax. So what do we do with that? Hmm. Anyway, let's keep exploring. See what else we can find. Can we use the boot on the pigeon? Yeah. Smash. Okay, it's stunned. Oh, it fell. Okay, grab that pigeon. That's the main ingredient for our pigeon supreme at a sauce rosé. Now let's finish the dish. Nice. Got ourselves a pigeon. This should be one meal in the bag. That's it, go through. Got our pigeon. Put it in the wax, maybe? No. Let's put it in the, the special sauce. That's it. Serve up. There is one dish. Well done. The pigeon had a sauce rosé is ready to be served. Good work. Okay, let's serve this shit up. What is the special sauce, though? This was for this guy, right? There you go. Bon appétit, monsieur. Is it tasty? I hope it's tasty. Oh. Oh, he dropped some scissors. You can tell by his pale face that he really enjoyed his last supper. Are we just poisoning them? Don't worry, the other guys are used to people passing out in taverns. Alright. They won't notice that he stopped breathing. <laughs> okay, I'll take these scissors, though. They rusty, but I need them. This guy... This guy dead, but I hope he enjoyed his last meal. This guy want a hand. Can, can I chop this off? No. I'll think about it. Next up, I think, isn't it the... Hang on, look at the recipes list again. We've done the first one. Spicy red sawfish, one tail, and a chilli pepper. So I'm sure we can cut this off, right? 
Are you kidding me? You'll never cut anything with the rusty scissors. We gotta sharpen our blade. Do we still want the wax? I don't even know what that's for. But we still got some wax. So walking around on the pier, there's there's not a lot to be checking out, so it should be fairly straightforward to find something. Can we Oh there's a rope ladder? Okay, so attached to the rope, can we use the scissors on the rope? Yeah. Alright. Now we can climb the rope ladder. That's it. I see that bum crack. <laughs> Got the captain's cabin. A trap door. Okay, let's try the trap door. Okay, oh god. Okay, we inside. <laughs> Here's a puddle. Can we gather some water? There we go. That'll fill up, right? Oh, is that chilies on the left side? Okay, we got a, a jug of water and a seedling. This seedling looks completely parched. We'll need to feed it a nice drink. Okay, we just got some water. Do that. There we go. And that is our chili pepper. Okay. So, what, what do we do next? Let's go up here. Go back up. Squeeze. And maybe check out the captain's cabin. Oh, okay. I think I know this guy. Let me taste the blood. Really? Um, I'll take that knife though. I'll just borrow that. Sip. Okay. Oh yes, indeed. Captain Clint McMurray, my sister's second husband. Looks like you won't be beating anyone up ever again, Clint. Oh yeah, this guy dead. But we did get a butcher knife. And we got a chili. So maybe now we can make the the swordfish dish. This guy super dead. But no, we'll keep going over here. Because I think we can now make our second dish. There's only three to make. So this should be okay. This guy just chilling. Don't don't mind him. He's just kind of passed out from his meal. Cool. Go in here. So let's use the knife on the swordtail fish. There we go. There we go. Swordtail fish. In goes in here. Wait, wait, wait. The special sauce should be added at the end. Just follow the recipe. Okay, recipe, remind me. One tail, a chili pepper, and cover with sauce. So do we put it into the wax? No. Do we need a dish or something? Put the chili in. No. Chili in there. Or we do, do we combine them down here? There we go, perfect. Those are the main ingredients. Now let's finish the dish. Okay, we made it spicy. Now let's serve up. Yeah. Good work. Our spicy red swordfish is ready to be served. Wasn't that for the, the fungus? I think so. There you go. Enjoy. Bon appetit. Have a, have a taste of that. Oh, it's spicy though. How spicy? Maybe too spicy. Oh, a satisfied stomach. This delicatessen is a pleasure worth dying for. How'd you get it? It's funny. Come on, laugh. Okay. So, um, sure. What's Jada Keys? Yeah, I'll take that. Yoink. So everybody a little, a little dead. Slimy tongue. I just removed the tongue from the corpse that the fungus was kind of, you know, living off. Okay, so we got our keys for the jail. The jail is just over here. So let's see what's inside. Oh, okay. A skeleton, just the hand. Cool. They, they, they kind of dead, but sure. So let's go back inside. Is that everything that we need? It might be. So let's, let's try. Because I think the skeleton hand is kind of not conspicuous enough. I need a plump human hand and a slimy tongue. So if we put the hand in the boiling wax. There we go. I see the logic. Now it looks a lot more wholesome, right? Wax hand. Combine it with the tongue. There's the main ingredients. Let's finish the dish. Serve up. Yeah. Tasty. Well done. The hand and tongue stew is ready to be served. All right, let's let's feed the shark. I know you want to taste this, and I know you're gonna love it. Eat this. Bon appetit, my cardiologist friend. Okay. 
eat this. Tasty. What is in the special sauce, though? Okay, another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy. Can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. I mean, I think we killed everyone. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints, do they? Great, now let's clean up the mess before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. Okay, so what do we do? He's not hungry. He's not hungry. And he's not hungry. Okay, can we open up this chest now? Be patient. Wait, so what are we supposed to do? We gotta clean up the mess. How do we do that? Maybe we can like throw him into the ocean, off the pier, or something like this. I'm not sure. So, maybe we should go outside, see if there's anything different we can do. What's this nonsense? That's not what the gentleman ordered. Okay, don't give him bold wax. Focus. Let's go back out. I gotta get rid of these bodies somehow. Oh, everything red. Everything kind of drippy with red. Oh, there's, there's the switch. No. Maybe it's this way. Okay, let's go this way. It's kind of dark. Oh, okay. What happened to the ship? Um. Can I keep going? No. Uh. Hang on. What do I do? It's kind of limiting where I can and can't walk. Let's go back inside. I can't go inside. Okay. So there has to be something out here. There's the wooden cart. Okay, cool. Yeah. Great idea. This would be useful to carry the bodies out. Yeah, let's load up. Gotta hoist some corpses. There we go. Ten fathoms deep on the road to hell. Yo ho ho on a bottle of rum. Okay, here you are. Okay. Yeah, these guys. Okay, I mean, now we can throw the switch. We've never used a grinder with such a large specimen before. Let's hope their bones don't get stuck. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there's that tasty, tasty food. Yep. Well done, Miss Appleton. You performed diligently. Okay. <laughs> that was really weird. Oh, meanwhile, in the in the treasure chest they brought in, there seems to be like a corpse with a ghost. Thank you, Miss Appleton. I appreciate all you've done for me. At last I'm allowed to rest, and so are you. Okay, it's like her, her old husband or something. I've got so many good memories of you and I working side by side. You are my dearest friend. But you got attacked by the pirates. When those beasts dragged me out of the kitchen, I knew I was done for. I swear I didn't steal that gold nugget from them. I won it, fair and square. Oh, the shark chopped her legs off. Oh no, that's nasty. Got our revenge though. <laughs> <laughs> While I was anguishing, suffocating inside the chest they put me in, there was only one thing I knew for certain. You wouldn't rest until you found me, dead or alive. I'm deeply sorry you had to lose your own sanity along the way. Please, find a quiet place to bury my bones, near the old well where I like to spend time. It's time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Sweet dreams, my dear friend. And goodbye. And away he goes. Wow. <laughs> Dreaming of better times. But yeah, they were just living their normal lives. They got jumped by pirates. So revenge had to be made. And I think that that is the end of this little short story. That was the supper. It was pretty dark, but kind of entertaining. And a nice little short story to enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed it. 
I thought it was quite fun, and this is Usho signing off, and hopefully I'll see you next time.